Hi, I'm Dave from Trinity Power. I'm a journeyman electrician and the fleet manager here. Today we'll be talking about our 800 amp automatic transfer switch. So the primary usage of this would be if you have two generators uh, and you want to have it where if you lose power it'll start up the other generator and switch your load over or if you've got utility in generator uh, when you lose utility this will start up the other generator and transfer the load over. Rated up to 600 volts it has settings for 600, 480, uh, 208 and 240 volt and 800 amps max. It comes in a uh, forkliftable, pallet jackable uh, and craneable frame which also has protection for when it's on a truck with straps over it so you don't crush the uh, enclosure. It's a NEMA 3R enclosure so it's good for outside. Some of the features we'll show you are inside the uh, connection box. In here we've got a camlock slotted plate and if you've got cables we've shown just a few in here to show how they can be strapped inside and they can be run through here and connected to your supply and load. If you weren't going to use camlock cables We've got a hardwire plate in the back here that can be swapped out and then you can punch your holes and run your tech cable or pipe, whatever you, you want to run into it. Um, we'll show you some of the other features in the front of it, so we'll just spin this around and show you that. So carrying on with uh, setup and uh, troubleshooting, we're at the front of the unit now. On the very front of the unit you see we've got a, a lamicoid that shows you what voltage it's set to. First thing is ensure that it's set to the correct voltage that you're going to be using it at. And we also have on our unit a automatic and a manual mode. So if you're going to be using it in the auto mode you have to make sure that you are switched into the automatic mode. Um, in the manual mode you can switch between the two sources. Uh, in the automatic it will switch from utility to generator when you lose utility. We'll just open up and have a look inside here. So in here we've got a voltage selector switch down here. This is what sets all the taps on the unit for the voltage, so just make sure that that is set to the correct voltage before you energize it. And with all electrical equipment, make sure that you're not working on it live and you're following your company's policy on personal protective equipment and work safe's uh, policy on that. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel to see more Trinity Power videos.